Two years ago, I was a typical 12-year-old. Glued to a screen, loved using technology, but completely uninterested in how it worked. Learned to code? No way. Today, I'm 14, have learned eight programming languages, led six coding camps, and taught 120 kids how to code. So what changed? What happened in those two years? The answer? It didn't happen all at once. It happened piece by piece. Think back to a time where you didn't try something new just because it seemed challenging. For me, that was coding. I remember sitting in front of a screen, watching the cursor blink, feeling completely lost. I felt alone and didn't know where to start. And that is exactly how many students feel when they first encounter coding. Coding feels like an abstract concept, complicated lines of text on a screen with no clear meaning. This can be incredibly intimidating to anyone, especially young learners. It feels like being thrown into the middle of a board game without knowing any of the rules. In 2023, I attended a girls only STEM conference that changed everything for me. I saw older girls building robots, creating apps and talking about tech with confidence. For the first time, I thought maybe I could do that too. Inspired, I scoured the internet looking for fun online courses to teach me basic coding. But to my surprise, I could only find boring and adult-oriented ones. That's when I realized. Maybe it wasn't that girls weren't interested in coding, but that no one was teaching it in a way that connected with us. So I decided to create a program that would make technology exciting for kids like me. I launched my first coding camp in July of 2023. It ran for eight weeks with two 90-minute sessions per week. When designing the curriculum, I focused on what would actually be interesting for people my age. Activities and challenges that sparked creativity, not just syntax and lecture style learning. And even though I didn't know it then, that was the start of my journey with peer learning. What is peer learning? According to the Harvard Initiative for Learning and Teaching, peer learning is when students interact with each other to learn. Peer learning encourages students to tackle challenging concepts through collaboration rather than avoiding them. It transforms uncertainty into creativity and motivates kids to keep exploring. I witnessed this transformation firsthand. I surveyed all 20 students, ages 10 to 12, before and after the camp to learn about their experiences with coding and assess the effect that the camp had on their interest in technology. Before the camp, none of the girls had coded. Well, every boy had. But by the end, something amazing happened. There was an 80% increase in girls' desire to keep learning and a 50% increase in participants interested in a tech career. The curriculum made coding appealing to kids who never thought it was for them. This inspired me to conduct a tech interest survey at a local public middle school with 430 students. The results were eye-opening. Less than 0.5% of girls and 13% of boys expressed interest in a tech career. Most said that their previous computer classes were, quote, not worth paying attention to. I realized that it's not a lack of talent holding kids back, it's a lack of exposure. Most students have never been introduced to what programming actually is, let alone why it matters. The survey revealed a need for dedicated programming courses and highlighted the importance of early engagement in tech education. 
In a world being shaped by artificial intelligence and constant innovation, early access to real programming isn't optional, it's essential. Last summer, I ran a beginner's Python coding camp for 20 students in my local library. I continue to shape the curriculum with creative hands-on elements tailored to connect with the unique energy and interests of the camp student demographic. So now, you may be wondering, what is the secret? How do you teach kids in a way that sticks with them? The secret is a simple three-letter word. Fun! Kids need to have fun to learn. The incorporation of fun in my camps goes beyond peer learning. The curriculum is intentionally structured to break up the monotony of absorbing content with games and projects. Running multiple camps and collecting student feedback has taught me how to perfectly mesh interesting material and having a good time. One highlight was ending the camps with the final showcase where parents watch the kids present their favorite projects, including a currency converter and rock, paper, scissors spot. Each class begins with a short video on real world technology, like how GPS works or how your phone knows your location. The discussion afterwards helps the kids understand why coding is important and how it's connected to the real world. Next, we review the concepts taught in the previous classes with the Kahoot. Kahoot makes learning fun through games and kids love it. Time and time again, they talk about how Kahoots are one of their favorite parts of the camp experience. I later ran a similar version of the Python camp at the same school where I conducted my tech interest survey, hoping to inspire more kids from the school to pursue technology as an interest. By the end of the camp, students' confidence in their abilities had increased by 60%. The key difference setting my camps apart is that a teenager, the target audience, designed them. The content is built around what students my age actually find interesting. Initiatives aiming to get young students into computer science should be peer-led or developed in collaboration with youth. Kids know what excites them better than adults do. By creating peer-led camps, we can increase the effectiveness of such camps tenfold and make a real difference. So, how do we get kids to want to learn? First, make it relatable. Connect learning to the real world. When students understand why something matters, they care a lot more about how it works. Second, embrace peer learning. Involve students in lesson planning. Let them teach and learn from each other and collect student feedback frequently. Lastly, make it fun. Fun doesn't distract from learning, it fuels it. With games, challenges, and prizes, even the hardest concepts can become something students look forward to. If we want to close the gender gap in programming, and help the young kids of today empower themselves through tech, we must be able to spark their interest in computer science by starting more peer-led programming camps. Empowering kids through technology starts with empowering kids to teach it. For kids, by kids.